Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> believe it or not, I just checked my YouTube channel and it has been about six months since I dyed my hair blue and made the biggest mistake I've ever made with my hair. I thought that I would make an update video. I have been meaning to make this for a little while, but I wanted to do it when I got to like a halfway point. And then I was curious and I was like, I'm gonna check how long it's actually been since I did this. And six months, I cannot believe. It does not feel like I did that six months ago it feels I don't know it feels like I did it so much sooner like I don't know the time's gone really quick and I don't know I mean I'm in a much better place with my hair right now I definitely want to cut it short one of my friends from work she was going around and she was like getting people to do a little survey on whether they thought I should cut my hair up to here and stuff and a lot of people in fact like 95% of everybody at work said that I should do it. I kind of want a fringe too. I was like imagining myself earlier with a fringe and like my hair cut short but in reality I know it probably wouldn't look good because I've had that hairstyle before and I looked absolutely atrocious and I hated it and it was my worst hairstyle ever. However my hair was much thicker back then so I'm like maybe I'll look better now because my hair is so thin if I cut it short surely it wouldn't look that bad because it's no longer like pff, afro it's 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 thin as hell so i feel like it would look cute short but then i'm not sure about cutting a fringe because it's grown out weird like the roots are weird as hell but i thought i'd make this update video and show you my progress with my really damaged bleached hair so my hair has been in a much better condition i will tell you that i've only brushed it about twice since the incident and I know that sounds really bad but if I brush my hair more falls out than is normal um, if I do brush it then I use a comb and it'll be when it is nearly dry after I've washed it I've only done it a couple of times I'm not gonna lie this has caused a few issues like last night when I washed my hair I got out of the shower and there was a huge dry clump and this has happened about four times now um, just at the bottom of my hair and the only thing I could do was rip it out and that makes me anxious every time that happens but I think that's a result of not brushing it but I'm too scared to brush my hair unless I've just cut it or yeah pretty much the only time I ever really brush through my hair is when I've just cut it or have straightened it I've straightened my hair once since the whole over dyeing bleaching incident I didn't use any heat protectant so I lost a lot of hair doing it but it wasn't the worst experience in the world. I looked quite cute, I'll put pictures here if I still have them, I'm not sure if I do. It just made me have a lot more courage in my hair, like my hair isn't that bad, it just isn't as thick as it used to be. It's definitely stopped falling out hugely, I've only had a few small incidents like yesterday and it was only a tiny little bob of like messed up hair. It's growing very quickly again. Every couple of months, I'd say every three months, I give myself a trim, which my friend JB hates when I get the kitchen scissors and I just do it myself. I know I never cut it right. Right now, it's grown. Like in my most recent video, you can see it's still about here, but one side is this and one's this, so I need to do it again because I'm really bad at cutting hair. But it is growing and I do intend on cutting it again this month to kind of try and balance out the uneven unevenness, why can't I speak right now, <laughs> to grow my hair. And I know it sounds ridiculous to keep cutting your hair to grow it, but I feel like that's the healthiest thing. And every time I cut it, I feel so fresh and great and I feel confident and I feel like this is a new start for my hair. I just wanna keep cutting, growing, cutting, growing, and eventually all the blonde will be gone. It will take a long, long time, but I'm slowly, slowly getting there. I've still got a lot of way to go, but as you can see, if I just look straight on at the camera, it almost looks like I've just got my old hair again, which makes me so happy because I can't wait for my hair to colour to come back. I really love having the blonde and it has made me confident and it's a really nice colour and I don't feel like dyeing it any other colour right now. Sometimes I have these urges of wanting to dye it pink, but at the end of the day I'm like, I like the natural look of my hair like this. It looks a bit strange because this bit's like black and then it just goes blonde. But at the same time it doesn't look crazy and I don't get too many looks unless my hair is down because people are like whoa her roots but I am aware of them it's just I don't want to sort out my roots or sort out the rest of my hair because I'm too scared to touch it with any kind of hair dye so I'm just gonna see 
how long I can go without actually putting any chemicals or damage onto my hair. I will show you what my hair looks like down right now. It's not too bad to style, like if I I mean, I have to get in the bath and wet it and then wait for it to dry, for it to be nice warm down. I wish I could wear it down for work, because it doesn't look that bad when it's down if I style it in the right way and stuff. But if I sleep on it, it goes very frizzy, which is a good sign because it means my hair is healing, because my hair did stop getting frizzy for a long, long time from how damaged it was, and my hair has always been frizzy, so the fact that it's getting frizzy again does give me hope and make me feel like it's actually becoming hair again, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel too stringy anymore, it's starting to feel like real hair again. I mean, it still feels a bit weird, but if I just keep cutting it and letting it grow out, I'm hoping that'll go away and eventually it'll be healthy hair again. You can see it's very hard to like style, so that's why I always just shove it back like that, because it doesn't look too bad. I'm looking in the viewfinder, sorry, but like, I have to kind of just style it with my hands, I can't really go through with a brush, I mean I could but I feel like it's too thin and there's not a lot there. There's a lot more there than the last time I updated you, like look, it looks kind of nice. I mean I think I'm kind of just in denial and I just try and tell myself it looks nice but it doesn't look the worst. As you can see the roots have grown out a lot, a lot, a lot, like look at that. That's a lot in six months. I think that's pretty impressive and the fact that I wanted to shave my head to get that regrowth and this much has already happened is incredible. I mean it looks ridiculous when you're looking at it like look at that. Like in some bits it's growing more and in others not so much and like you can see it's really growing out weird but I really just don't want to touch it with anything and I know a lot of people watching this that know anything to do with hair are probably cringing at it like what the hell is that? But it is growing and seeing that kind of contrast between the black and the blonde makes me happy in a way. Because even though it looks awful, it really shows me... Wow, look at this hair. It really shows me how much it's growing. And the more my roots show, the better I feel. Even though it looks awful, I'm like, yes, it's working. It's kind of one of the reasons I want to cut it short. Because I feel like this wouldn't look so bad if it was short. And then at the same time, I think it would look awful. So I don't know. I feel like maybe I should keep it long for a little while longer until the roots are about, I don't know, here or something. I don't know, eventually it's going to look like a really bad ombre and I'm sure you can't wait to see me looking like that. As you can see it's very uneven, <laughs> um, very thin still, but at the same time kind of thick. I don't really know how to describe my hair right now, it's not as thick as usual but it's not the thinnest in the world at the same time. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel really confident about it, sometimes I don't. I've kind of stopped using any kind of argan oils and things like that recently uh, for like a month or so. I don't know if it's making a difference. I feel like I want to go back into that. I might go into town tomorrow and get more argan oils and conditioners and stuff because I have stopped doing that recently and maybe that's why I have this... Uh, dryness yesterday of my hair falling out. I've only been using like hydrating shampoos and I've been trying to go back into like Tresemme and things like that, normal shampoos because I thought my logic was if I go back into things I used to use before my hair was damaged maybe it will not be that bad anymore and it will fix it. Does that make sense if I'm using products that I used before I damaged it maybe it will feel the same. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to go back into trying like treatments and things, um, trying deep conditioners, things like that. I might leave it another month before I give it another trim because it's already quite short. But I do like the short length, I never thought I'd be a girl to like the short length but it's so easy to maintain and it looks quite nice. I think I might take like an inch off or something, like JB's watching this cringing. <laughs> you know, when it's straight it's a lot longer. As you can see, I can't really style it right now because it's curly as hell. But this is what my hair looks like natural hell. Natural hell. Good English, Rebecca. But I do think that I need to go back into, like, using argan oil because that did make a huge difference and it really has helped my hair so, so much. I do feel like we're slowly but surely getting to the repair of my hair and eventually it will look nice again, I'm hoping. Um, if anything, I don't really want length anymore. I just want it to look a normal colour, kind of, and for it to be a nice texture. And I know it's going to take years to fix, but I've kind of accepted it now. I don't feel upset anymore 
about the fact that I've ruined my hair because I feel confident in it. There are ways I can style it and make it look less weird and less gross. I know it's going to get harder to kind of do that as the uh, <laughs> as the freaking dark as hell roots, if you can even call them roots anymore. As they get longer it's going to be harder for me to kind of maintain and make it look normal but I'm just thinking it's worth it, it's better than dyeing my hair again and I'm not going to give in to the temptation because I know what happens when you do that. If anyone's watching this and wants to give me any tips on my hair and wants to tell me how I can fix it or how I can make it be in better condition that would be great. I had a lot of suggestions last time and I tried a few of them and they helped out quite a lot. I know hair masks is something I should probably go back into again. But looking at it, it's in quite good condition. I think I just need to go back into the hair products. It's just recently I've been focusing on my money being spent on things like my computer, makeup I've been really into lately, and perfumes, and I'm buying way too many clothes. So maybe I should stop spending out on that and start buying hair products stuff again. I can't afford everything. I might just invest in some argan oil again, because even something small like that really did make a huge difference to my hair, and maybe it'll speed up the pro process. Let me know any suggestions you have down below. I thought I'd just give you an update on what my hair looks like six months into its damage. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad anymore. I feel quite good about it. It's still quite bad, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. My hair isn't the best. But it is getting to a state where I feel like Eventually one day I will have normal hair again and I'll be a normal girl again and that makes me so excited. I feel like not having the pressure of having to straighten my hair every day and curl it and do things, even though that was so much fun and I miss it so much being able to do stuff with my hair, I feel like my makeup ability is getting better and I'm becoming more invested in makeup and how I dress more because I have to kind of make up for the fact that I can't do stuff with my hair. So it's making me more experimental with, you know, the way that I dress for work and the way that I dress on weekends and it's making me push my boundaries fashion wise and it's making me push my boundaries makeup wise. I'm getting more into high end makeup brands and stuff because I want to look good on the face and good on my body and I, I don't know, I'm, I'm growing to love my curly hair as well. It's nice, natural and curly and I mean, it's pretty. I like it. Having thin hair is not the worst. It's awful because I miss my old hair and I would choose my old hair over this hair any day but the blonde is nice. I like my natural curls and I know that with enough dedication and patience my hair will grow back to be what it once was and I will be happy again. Yay! <laughs> this video was kind of depressing but also just know if you're going to take anything away from this, if you're thinking about bleaching your hair, please be careful. Consult a hairdresser uh, or a friend or anybody who knows anything about hair first. Take their advice and listen to it. Don't just ignore them like, oh, it'll be all right. Don't bleaching your hair so many times over a few months, trust me, will kill it. Especially when you've been straightening your hair obsessively for years and then you do that. Trust me, it's not worth it. It's not worth losing your hair. It's not worth the life lesson. I could have learnt this without doing this to my hair, but I don't regret anything because, you know what, I was having one of those years where I needed to be spontaneous and I needed to do things that I'd never done before and I'd always wanted to experiment with hair colour and this is the result. This is what you get. <laughs> this is what you get for being adventurous. Just think before you do things, okay? I'm all about that YOLO life, but also use your brain a little bit. Just think. Um, it's very unlike me to do stuff like this and this is why, this is why. If you like this video you can comment down below, let me know your own hair damage stories, how your hair is now, how you got it back to the way that it is now, how it feels in comparison, any tips or tricks you want to give to me so that in six months time I can make another video a year on and tell you that my hair is like down here and gorgeous or something. In a year's time I'm gonna set a goal I want it to have grown at least to here in another six months because then it will just look like a bad ombre so at least to just under my ear that's the goal I think I can do it I think my hair will grow that quick it's always growing pretty quickly every time I cut my hair it grows back to this length pretty quick um, I've cut my hair about three or four times since I dyed it blue myself sorry JB <laughs> and it always grows back um, 
I don't really give it time to grow long long because I don't like it long long anymore because it's so thin. I only like it to a certain length but that's fine, it's a new style for me. Like, comment, subscribe, you can turn on my notifications, I'm sorry I look awful, I keep looking in the viewfinder like, ew, what is that? To be told when I make a new video, I make new videos every Thursday and Sunday, and let me know what you want me to do next, because I'm out of video ideas if I'm honest. <laughs> see you in my, no, you will see me in my next one. Yeah, okay, bye. You know when you realise that like, you've gone to work all day, first of all looking like, <laughs> some kind of school child in this white shirt and second of all my bra has been showing all day <sighs> love it <laughs> I am a fail and this hair is crazy I need to get in the bath and D Hermione Granger god damn it